Hey guys, it's Winifred and welcome back to my channel. Well, this week, it looks like you might be seeing quite a bit of me lately. Lately. <laughs> you might be seeing quite a bit of me this week. I think, I know for sure I'm going to have three videos up. So we might be going for four guys. Um, but today's video, well the video that I'm shooting today, will be going up tomorrow. And this is just going to be my makeup basket for this week and maybe into the next week. We'll see, but for sure it's going to be one week. And I wanted to play with some colors, guys, this week. And when I pull up these items, that does not mean that I'm just going to exclusively use these items. I will be pulling from my collection in general and in addition be using these items. These are just items that I want to concentrate on because I haven't gotten any use out of them. So let's just jump into it. This week I will be definitely concentrating on my electric palette. I know that you all were anxious to see what I was going to do with this so I'll be using that this week. And then a couple of my Coastal Scents, well, one Coastal Scent palette and one Tropical BH Cosmetics palette. And this one is the Ultra Shimmery palette from Coastal Scents. I'll be using this one. And guys, if you don't have these, these are um, like a very good buy. And I will say this that if you don't want to spend as much money on the very flashy colors then go ahead and um, check out Coastal Scents 88 palettes for what you're getting and the money that you're spending on it guys you can't you know you can't lose and um, then here I've got the BH Tropical palette I'm gonna play around with this one guys because I haven't used this one and I might also in addition to the Coastal Scents Shimmer I might also throw in that Coastal Scents uh, Matte Palette and you get 88 colors in there guys and you know I know sometimes at least with me with those vibrant shades I don't want to spend as much money as say my neutral shades that I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of so that's a good buy. Check into it. Um, so with the colorful eyeshadows and all guys, I'm going to crack open the Voluminous um, Purple Obsession Mascara and also the uh, Turquoise Crush. I'm going to open this one. And guys, I'm also going to use this Ciate one. It's, it's a blue mascara, but let me tell you right off. I don't like this brush. I'm not a big fan. I love the L'Oreal Voluminous brush. I am not a big fan of this because I don't have a lot of eyelashes and to me this just does not seem that it's going to really pull all my eyelashes out. And guys, you know I have all of these um, Lancome Juicy Tubes in pink shades and like a lilac-y cream shade. This is a sparkly shade. This one is a blue shade. Um, this one is more of a goldy shade. And then I've got one that's kind of like a translucent bronze sparkle shade. And then I've got like a light beigey colored shade. Now this will be a mix. So when I'm Keep in mind, now with these glosses and juicy tubes, I'm not going to be wearing those by themselves, guys, because I like a rather opaque lip because, like I said before, I have a two-tone lip and um, I like an opaque look. And I love this. This is, look at all these sparkles in this, guys. This is Iman's um, lip, sparkly lip gloss. I'm going to use that. And this one is, um, I believe this is a, a Borghese, a Borghese, not Borghese, Bourgeois. <laughs> That's what it is. I think this is Bourgeois, an old gold lip gloss. Um, 
I don't know why I have so many glosses, guys, because I'm not really a gloss person. I mean, yeah, that's what that looks like. And that will look so pretty on top of um, another lipstick. And then I have a pretty lip lacquer from um, Lachey Cosmetics. And this is, I believe, a brand exclusive to... Cleveland, but it's it's very sticky. It is sticky, but it is more of an opaque kind of a lip lacquer, and that's it right there. It's more of an opaque color. And I've got some MAC that I'm going to play around with, and then I'm going to bring out some of my Rimmel nudes, guys. I, I don't, I haven't used these. Um, in quite some time so I want to play with those and then guys I am going to bring out some eye pencils that I have not used in quite some time um, this one I love 24 7 I love Urban Decay's 24 7 only thing with the 24 7 I um, liners guys is you have to work really quick because it does set and then after it sets it's not gonna move um, this is in the color LSD. It's a nice, a nice blue, but it's kind of like a frost blue, and that's it right there. And then I have a Rimmel shade, and I want to say, I've never even used this. Look at this blue. And I don't know how it's, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's really soft, but that's it right there. And I gotta see how I'm gonna apply that because I don't want to tug at that eye area, guys. And then I have Max Jade Way, which is a really pretty green. And this is creamy, so not only can you use it as a um, eyeliner, you can also use this as a nice eyeshadow base. And then there is another 2471 that I have called Electric. I don't think I've ever, no, I've never used this. Look at that. That would be really pretty on your uh, lower lash line. Then I've got some lip liners that I'm going to play in, like the Boldly Bare. I use that quite frequently. And a lot of times with the Boldly Bare, I mix that with another lip liner. And then we have the magenta. You all know what the magenta looks like. Since I want to play in some pinks and uh, purples this week. And then here is the plum. And you know that is my go-to lip liner for um, usually my pinky nude lips or like I have it on today. Um with the lip combo that I have on today. And for nails, guys, I am I have three choices here and you never know what I'm going to do. It's just a lot of times with my nails, it depends on what I'm going to wear. And that's why a lot of times, guys, I stick to neutrals as far as my nails because I don't like to have to worry about what I'm wearing and if it's clashing and then you know I wear uh, the big statement rings and some of those have stones in them and I don't want to have to take it off because the nail polish doesn't go with it you know that kind of thing but I pulled out a pretty grayish blue and this is from um, Zoya I don't I can't read with this I can't make out what color this is but if I use it I'll be sure to um, put it in the drop box and then here's a pretty Lavender from Sally uh, Hansen, and it's called Lilac U, and this is in 370. If you notice, I usually, not all the times, but I usually, if I'm going to change a color in the summertime, it's going to be kind of like a um, pastel -y color, something that is not too in your face. And I like this one. It's, uh, I want to say, Teeny, Bikini So Teeny, and this is by Essie. And this is um, a hair deeper and more vibrant than this, 
But even still, I have some other blue eyeshadow, blue eyeshadow, say it, some other blue nail polish that is way more vibrant than this one. But in comparison to the two, this is, you know, a little bit more pale, shall I say. Um, yeah, so like I said, these are items that I just want to use, but it's not just exclusive to me using these items this week. So I'll be pulling from my uh, collection to make a complete look, but these are just items that I want to concentrate on. So having said that, when I do do a look with you all or for you all, I will be sure to list whatever um, makeup I use that day in the description bar. So there won't be any question about that. Uh, what I have on my nails today, guys, I love, love, love this color. I've been wearing this for years. It's um, OPI's Alpine Snow. And, you know, sometimes white colors don't go on um, as smoothly as you would like. A lot of times they're streaky. This streaks a little bit and my recommendation to you is if you do pick up this Alpine Snow guys is to um, let it dry a little bit 10 minutes between the first and second coats. Now this is just two coats that I have on and of course I put the uh, my uh, out the door on top of it so that it would dry. Where would I be without that, right? So, uh, yeah, this is Alpine Snow. Love, love, love. And hey, another thing too, guys, is if you're wearing some of those like neon colors in the summer or um, more vibrant hued nail polishes in the summer, lay down some white and that will make it just kind of pop out all the more. It's the same principle as if you used um, Max Paint Pot or NYX's Milk White um, eye, Eyeshadow Stick or Base to make those colors pop. Well, it's the same principle with your nails. And if you recall, I don't know if it was Revlon. I'm not sure if it was Revlon or what company it was that um, a few years back they had like a double sided nail polish and on one side it was white and on the other side it was like an orange or yellow or a vibrant pink and you were to put the white the white base down first and then put the pink on top of that to make that pink pop well it's the same principle for this guys so having said that I am done for my makeup basket for this week, maybe two weeks. I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't want to um, say it's going to be for two weeks and then I come up on Friday or Saturday of next week and switch it up. So let's just say we'll leave it open. But I'm definitely going to wear these items this week. Let's say that. So having said that. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you real soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.